Again, you can watch me make four round resin coasters. And to make these coasters, I'm going to use a holographic silicon mold. I really love the holographic effect. And I'm also going to experiment using a mica pigment for the flower design. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with pouring a thin layer into my uh, holographic round silicon mold. Yeah, and I really love the effect on uh, the coasters I made in my previous video also using this uh, silicon mold. So why not uh, try it again? And this silicon mold is from Molds and Shapes. And if you're interested in their silicon molds, the link to their website is in the description below this video. Don't forget my promo code. If you use my promo code JustPaint5, you will get 5% discount on your order. So that's amazing. So you only need a thin layer of resin to create a nice flower. And uh, I'm using my heat gun and embossing tool to remove air bubbles. And what I mentioned, I'm going to experiment uh, using a mica pigment for the flower design. But also another experiment. Uh, normally I add the alcohol uh, in colors after the waiting time. But as you can see now, I'm adding it right after I poured the thin layer into the silicon mold. And the first color is a, re a really dark blue color and it's from Ether Art. It's a resin ink in the color Lapis Lazuli. The second color, nice green with a pearl eff effect. Is from Ranger and is called Pearl Sublime. So also an experiment with adding the colors right after I poured the thin layer. And then I'm going to wait for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes I'm going to add the flower design. I want to see if I can create a different effect with that. And the third color is also from Ether Art, and it's the color Caribbean Blue. You can buy these colors from uh, resinkunst.de, it's a German website. They only ship within Europe, so so sorry for the people that live outside of Europe. But um, the link to the website is in the description below this video. And I also have a promo code for that website. If you use my code PETRA10, you will get 10% discount. So we are 10 minutes later. And now I'm going to add the flower design. So I'm starting with white. And this is made with the Resitint Max Titanium White and a few drops of Let's Resin Alcohol Ink, also in the color white. So a small circle in the center and now I'm using uh, a mica pigment it's one of my mica pigments it's the azure and I added a few drops of the drop-in tint uh, ocean blue pearl so this is also an experiment if I can use a mica pigment for the flower design and the resin that I'm using is from Craft Resin. It's the low viscosity resin. I used it before and I thought it was a great resin. So I'm going to try it again and see if I can uh, make some nice coasters with, the, with this resin. And I also added uh, some links in the description. Uh, if you buy through the links, then you will get 5% discount on their website. Um, I've added links for the people that live in Europe, USA and UK. So that's also great. Now I'm going to make some lines from the outside to the inside, but also from the inside to the outside. There you can see it. 
And I'm using a dotting tool for that, because it doesn't have a sharp tip. So I can't damage my silicon mold this way. So all the materials that I'm using in this video, you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video. And I always add the link to the websites. So if you're curious, check out the description. And I think those colors go very well together. And you can see the pearl effect of the Ranger alcohol ink. It looks nice. Going to add more white on top of the Caribbean blue. Yeah, I'm very curious if it makes a difference if you add the alcohol in colors right away or uh, if you need to wait for 10 minutes and then add the colors. So I'm very curious if it makes a difference. Because what I experienced, if you wait... Uh, and then add the colors. The resin already has set a bit, has start to cure. And then if you add the alcohol in colors, they don't spread that well. That's why I uh, always heat the surface a little bit. But if we can do it this way, then it's the, the colors will spread much better. Because the resin is more fluid. And another white line, there you can see it, and I added the colors into a piping bag. Then you have much more control over the lines. Now I'm going to add again the blue line that I made with the mica pigment just paint azure and a few drops of the drop in tint ocean blue pearl. So I'm also very curious if a mica pigment uh, can work for the flower design. Yeah, there's also a risk mica pigments are can be heavy, so it can cause blobs on the other side of the coasters. But yeah, I love to experiment and show it to you all. Next to the blue line, a white line again. Yeah, and I really uh, uh, like the working time of this resin because it has a working time of 35 minutes and then it will start to cure. So that also means that I don't have to wait uh, that long before I can add this flower design. I only waited 10 minutes. Because if you have a, work, a longer working time, then you need to wait much longer before you can add the flower design. So with this resin you can work very fast and I like that for uh, coasters.
Again, I make some lines from the outside to the inside. There you can see it. And hopefully that mica pigment will work for the flower design. Now I'm going to add some heat to uh, remove air bubbles, but also to create effects. And I'm using my embossing tool for that. It already looks nice. Yeah, and I really like this design and um, technique because there are so much uh, yeah, possibilities. With this technique, you can make different designs. So for sure I'm going to try it again. Yeah, this embossing tool doesn't get that hot as a heat gun, so that's why I'm using the embossing tool. And doesn't blow that hard. So I'm done with this layer. I will uh, let this dry and after an hour of drying I will show it to you all. So we are one hour later and this is how they look. They really look nice. The colors are amazing. And they changed. But I can already see that the mica pigment has sink to the bottom or dropped to the bottom hopefully the other side is pretty but that means that I added too much mica pigment in the resin but the white looks amazing there you can see it, the sparkle of the azure and the white lays on top so that's good I also swirled the center, I didn't show you that, but I thought, why not swirl the center, I, I always love that. Yeah, so far I'm pleased how they look. So we are 24 hours later and now I can take them out of the mold. I don't have a problem with that because I don't use a torch. I mention it almost in every video because there is a higher risk that the resin will stick to the silicon if you use a torch. Because the flame of the torch is very hot. So that's why I don't use a torch. So the last one. This side uh, looks amazing, so hopefully the other side is also nice. It's 
So now we can take a closer look. There you can see it with a black background. Also nice. And this is the other side. Yeah, the holographic effect is amazing, but what I already thought, I added too much mica pigment in resin. And then the color will get very heavy, and then you will get those blobs. But still they look nice. But the next time I will add less mica pigment. There you can see the holographic effect, very pretty. Little bit closer, but still the mica pigment sparkles a lot, very nice. I think I like this side better, that's the side how I poured it, very pretty. So this is the end result. I have them outside in the daylight and this is the side how I poured them. Really pretty and I think the colors are amazing. Some great effects in white. Very nice. A little bit closer. Yeah, I have some very small air bubbles. So the next time maybe I uh, going to warm the resin before I, I pour it into the silicon mold. But there are some really tiny air bubbles. But still it looks nice. And this is the other side, also pretty. The holographic effect is amazing, but the next time I will add less mica pigment. But the effect, still the effects are nice. So let me know what you think of my uh, arrest, holographic resin coasters. Um, don't forget my promo codes, I have several promo codes now. All the information to that is in the description box. Also the link to the supplies I've used. And um, also the link to my own Facebook group. Come and join my Facebook group. I want to thank you all for watching again. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.